are. The whole world is the representation of the energy that we learn in the seventh chapter is the manifestation of the energy of Krishna. And it has been described there are two kinds of energies, the lower energy and the higher energy. And the higher energy is the living entities, just like we are. We living entities, we belong to the higher uh, nature of the Supreme Law. Jiva Bhuta Mahabhao Jayadam Bharjati Jagat. This world is moving. This world is made of lower nature, material. And the higher nature is the living entity. So anything which is connected with Krishna, it becomes to the higher nature. Even in these material things, if it is dovetail with Krishna consciousness, then it turns into higher nature. The example I have several times repeated, just like you put a, an iron rod in the fire, it becomes warm, warmer, and gradually it becomes red hot. When it is red hot, it is transformed into the nature of fire. It is no longer iron. Similarly, if you constantly remain in Krishna consciousness, you at once transfer yourself to the higher nature of Krishna. And that is your liberation. And if we can die in higher nature, then this formula, tatta deham punar janmanaiti, oh, he does not come back again to this material world. So we shall have to try, we shall have to practice this Krishna consciousness in such a way that we shall permanently exist in higher nature. And if we can die in that higher nature, then our place in the transcendental world is reserved. 